Welcome to Mikon's Hardware. Today I have tested for you yet another Chinese Mini ITX motherboard from AliExpress. But this one is for the AMD AM4 platform using AMD B550 chipset. In particular, I have got this TNUA B550i gaming motherboard. All detailed technical specification you will see on your screen and on my secondary channel you also will find unboxing video with a quick specs overview. For this video though I have done my usual printout with all the important information about TNUA B550i, so let's not waste your time and go straight into it. So what's not working with the TNUA B550i? Unfortunately sleep mode doesn't work. You can still use hibernation, but the sleep mode doesn't work. Then we have the traditional Chinese issues such as the smart function doesn't work with the 3-pin fans, you can only use 4-pin fans connected to the 4-pin PWM fan headers. We also do not have temperature sensors of the motherboard, so it is only possible to monitor the CPU temperature, not the motherboard temperature. And additionally, we have another rather significant downside is that the motherboard does not support XMP profiles for memory. Luckily, we still have possibility to manually adjust memory speed and memory timings, but the BIOS is not very friendly. That's why I have made another dedicated video with the step-by-step -step instructions how to set up your XMP profile settings with the TNUA B550i. The video is available on my secondary channel and the link, of course, will be in the video description. Another very important thing most of you are probably wondering about is the power delivery system or VRM. TNUA B550i uses non-standard layout, we do not have a standard PWM controller. Instead, we have simplified application circuit with FU APL 5337 uh, modules or chips or whatever it is called. All details about the VRM components of the motherboard you will see on your screen, but I have also contacted BIOS I engineer for a comment about this VRM. He laughed at the VRM and said that it is the most pathetic VRM he has ever seen, but nevertheless this VRM seems to be uh, doing the job just fine. I have tested my B550i with Ryzen 7 3700X and Ryzen 5 5600 and it didn't get any issues. Under stress test using ADA64, the VRM doesn't heat up more than 60 degrees Celsius. Sure, I have done my measurements using external thermometer, so the actual VRM temperature is probably somewhere around 70-80 degrees Celsius, but still it's a very decent result. And I would say that with the proper cooling you could even install something like Ryzen 9 5900 on this motherboard. Now let me tell you about the important layout specification of the motherboard. So TNUA B550i comes without a Wi-Fi adapter, so if you plan to use Wi-Fi with this motherboard, you have to buy an M.2 Wi-Fi adapter separately as well as Wi-Fi antenna. And it's important to mention that you need to buy PCI Express M.2 Wi-Fi adapters, not CNVI. CNVI adapters are not gonna work here. In my case, I have tested with Intel wireless adapter AC9260 and didn't get any issues. Both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth worked just fine. Now, TNUA B550i, just like any other Chinese motherboard, comes without a battery. Unfortunately, all TNUA Mini ITX motherboards do not have the power battery socket on the motherboard. Instead, the battery is connected through a wire and then it glued somewhere here or here or somewhere else. Because the China Post does not allow any batteries, the seller just brutally cuts off the battery and you receive the motherboard with the naked wires and you have to figure out how to connect the battery. In my case, I bought this special some sort of a battery housing that can be simply connected to these naked wires and in my previous videos people asked about this housing for the battery, so I will show it a bit closer and I will also add link in the video description where you can buy this battery housing to connect the battery to your TNUA Mini ITX motherboards. One more important thing is that the motherboard comes with the two M.2 slots for SSD drives. The one in the front, this one, is connected to the chipset and it works at PCI Express 3.0 speed. But the one at the back side of the motherboard, uh, this one, it's connected to the CPU and it works at PCI Express 4.0 speed. Of course, if you have compatible CPU that also supports PCI Express 4.0. So if you have only one SSD drive, then it is better to connect it to the back side of your motherboard so you have better latency and better performance for PCI Express 4.0 drives. 
I'm not sure why Chinese decided to go with this layout, but you need to make sure that your SSD is not overheating at the back side of the motherboard, because the space between the motherboard and the chassis is very narrow there, and the airflow is really bad. A few extra moments that I think are worth mentioning is that the PCI Express X16 slot works at PCI Express 4.0 speed if you have compatible CPU, and resizable bar is supported by DNUAB550i. Then I have also tested AMD PBO or Precision Boost Overdrive, some sort of automatic overclocking on the CPU, and it works just fine. You can enable disable it in the BIOS, no issues here. You can also manually tune your CPU, you can adjust the CPU frequency, and you can adjust the CPU voltage. I didn't have any issues with these functions either. With my two test samples, Ryzen 7 3700X and Ryzen 5 5600, I have done Cinebench R23 test, which ran for 10 minutes, and the score is well within what I can find online. So I can conclude that Team UAB 550i motherboard does not hurt performance of Ryzen 7 3700X and Ryzen 5 5600. This does not guarantee that Ryzen 9 5900 or 5950X will work just as good on this motherboard, but at least we know that 8 core Ryzen's have no issues running on the TNUA B550i motherboard. It's also interesting that according to the specification and according to what the seller told me, TNUA B550i motherboard supports only Ryzen 4000 and 5000 series CPUs. But as you have seen, in my case, Ryzen 7 3700X didn't have any issues running on this B550i motherboard. So those were the most important facts about Team UAB 550i motherboard, which shall be enough for you to make your decision if you want or don't want to buy this motherboard. In my opinion, for the price of 60-80 euros, this is a very well-packed motherboard. We have 2.5 gigabit Ethernet, we have PCI Express X16 4.0, we have two M.2 slots for SSD drives, we have one M.2 slot for PCI Express uh, M.2 Wi-Fi adapters, we also have four SATA ports, and we have USB connectors, audio connectors for the front panel, including USB Type-C connector for the front panel. Unfortunately, the motherboard comes with the traditional Chinese issues. The BIOS is not the best, the sleep mode doesn't work, the XMP settings are not available. The motherboard also does not have any temperature sensors of the motherboard itself, and the smartphone function works only for the 4-pin PWM fans. So these issues make it really hard for me to recommend it for everyone, because for the same or slightly more expensive price, you can find ASRock Mini IDX motherboards with AM4 socket. Still, if you need a white mini ITX motherboard and the TNUA B550i issues do not scare you off, this might be a viable option. But as always, I recommend to check your local market, check your local stores, check your secondhand market, and only then go to AliExpress, because AliExpress and safety is not something compatible. AliExpress shall be your last resort, and if you go to AliExpress, you shall be ready to lose your money. With this, I have to say thanks for watching, thanks for listening, I hope it was interesting and helpful. Bye-bye.